Hi everyone and welcome back to the Nair Nails channel. I'm Steffi Fernandez and in today's video we'll be doing a gorgeous um, lava lamp inspired nail art. A bit of a throwback to the 90s, right? Well, 70s too, 70s. isn't it? Man? Oh wow, that's old. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's get cracking. Right, to start off this design, I'm going to go in with one of our gorgeous um, jelly range colors, which is called elderberry. And I'm going to apply a nice, uh, well, two thin coats of this color, elderberry. I said elderberry, right? Yeah. Yeah, said it twice. <laughs> so I'm going to apply it over the nail. Just make sure when you apply again, uh, colors that are transparent to just make sure that they're applied evenly so the the brush should be as flat as possible and just drag the color and before curing it in the lamp make sure you give it about five to ten seconds so it soft levels and then pop it in to the lamp so we've got this layer cured and i'm going to be using um, for this design some of our gorgeous luminous gels i'm just going to show you what i'm going to be using so i'm going to be using radical pink and atomic tangerine and they uh, the luminous collection obviously glows in the dark and the lava lamp glows in the dark so i thought you know what why not make use of the products that we have rather than just painting them in normal colors so because I wanted to stand out slightly more, what I'm going to do is dip into my, um, should I say serious white? No, 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 no. It's uh, snow white. Snow white. There we go. Uh, snow white. And I'm just going to start mapping out uh, what the um, the lava inside will the be blobs. looking like. The blobs. Yeah. So I'm just going to paint a blob on top. So could you go in straight with the luminous colors, but it just might not be as opaque? You, yeah, you could go in uh, 100%, but it won't be as opaque. And I really want it to stand out a bit more. I think, you know, looking at it when I was a child, it really stood out, didn't yeah, it, really? Yeah. So very contrasty. Yeah, very contrasty. You know, girls, you could even... Uh, take a little bit of uh, purple pigment and then add that to your monomer and build a jelly nail and then just paint the blobs on or even encapsulate blobs. So there's loads of different ways of doing this um, nail art. It's so cool, honestly. Reminds me of my childhood, which, you know, seems so far away. <laughs> Stop it. I feel extremely old. You don't look it. Well, that's uh, thanks to my mama. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, mom. You could even do another one. I don't know. You tell me, Drew. It's your show. Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> People don't tune in for me. Well, Maybe just a tiny one. Somewhere else? Yeah. Okay. Fine. <laughs> oh, well. You don't <laughs> no. have to listen to me, Steffi. No, I always listen to you, Drew. He's the voice and the reason. <laughs> Let me go and do another small one here. It's not like me. Usually I'm telling you, enough's enough, Steffi. <laughs> That's You've true. You've added too much. And this Think time you're, I'm telling uh, you, I'm Yeah, more. we're switching places now. So I've got a tiny, tiny little dot here. Oh my God, I messed it up. So it's not going to be as tiny. You know what, guys? I must let you in on something. I've been away for three weeks, so I'm a little bit rusty right now. But 
the tan is great. <laughs> <laughs> So I've got the shapes on the uh, nail ready. I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds and we'll carry on. So we've got the white cured and now I'm going to go into this gorgeous luminous colors that we have. And I'm going to just pick them up with my uh, brush and start kind of painting on top of that white. Now I chose two colors because I want to kind of mix them in if it makes sense. Um, so I'm just going to paint the top half of the blob pink and then I'm gonna switch into orange and you don't have to work too hard to kind of you know mix those colors in um, the beauty of doing small surfaces with a detailing brush um, is that it's like so much easier now one thing about like the luminous collection make sure that for best results if you want to get a nice kind of luminous um, uh, an opaque color on your nail you need to uh, before i start using the colors what i do is i just turn the bottle so i turn the bottle five minutes before i start painting and then i turn it back down so i mix in the pigment really well because it tends to separate quite easily. So any product that you have that separates easily, try and turn the bottle five minutes before you actually start using it on your client and that will help you um, get a better coverage. So I've got this here and I'm gonna do the same on the other blobs. Maybe I'll swap it a bit and do the pink down there. And I think I'm going to do, what do you reckon, one blob of pink? So that one, one pink for sure. And then maybe the other one more orange, I would say. Yeah. Because it's usually the light at the top and the bottom of the lamp that is causing the colour to look slightly different, I think. That's right. See, Drew is an artist, guys. He is, actually. I like doing some videos with him because he <laughs> kind of gets me right i've got these blobs ready i'm just gonna make sure that they cover all the edges although i do kind of like the light coming through it's like a bit of a highlight right so we've got this gorgeous layer cured and i'm gonna go in with one of our platinum colors which is called moonlight shimmer which is a gorgeous kind of silvery and i'm gonna just pick up some of that and then I'm going to paint um, the top section of the nail. I'm going to fill that in. Probably create a nice straight line. If I manage to do it after three weeks. That's it. Then I'm going to fill it in. I'm going to do the same at the bottom. The reason I kind of chose the stilato shape as well. Because I think it kind of complements the, the whole um lamp look right because yeah. they kind of looked mimics that shape yeah of the lamp, it? i'm gonna be doing this myself when it comes to metallic colors like i really love experimenting and kind of mixing pigments so i don't tend to use the metallic colors that we have but that was a mistake i mean look at this color so going in with our uh, urban graffiti top coat and i'm just gonna seal in all this goodness <laughs> seal it in seal it in don't want it escaping <laughs> and then i'm gonna pop it in for the final cure we've got the final look over here ready gorgeous <laughs> gorgeous is it drew yeah beautiful i do love it to be honest it's such a cool design and so easy to um achieve also you can do it in so many different colors we've got like an entire jelly range collection that you can use i mean green would look insane you know the slimy green yeah and yeah. we've got like um starfruit which is yellow and then you can do like 
blue are glowing the dark blobs or whatnot i think it's really nice to kind of have two colors in the blobs rather yeah. than one but you could also do one it's up to you guys completely your um choice but yes i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i enjoyed creating this uh look for you um, let me know if you'd like to see anything else in the comments below and as usual don't forget to like share subscribe and hit that notification bell and i will see you all on the next one take care guys top up this goodness i don't know what the fuck am i doing already. yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, <fuck off. laughs>